And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about following Jesus, and we have seen how Jesus' disciples often failed him through lack of faith or a wrong attitude. Instead of encouraging another man who sought to honor the name of Jesus, they wanted to oppose him. Instead of trying to understand why their master was speaking about his coming death, they were too busy arguing about which one of them was the greatest. Someone might ask the question, If being a follower of Jesus is so difficult, why should I bother trying? The disciples of Jesus had left their families and jobs to follow Jesus and to preach and perform miracles and healings in his name. They were never promised a salary, and they often failed in their duties and in their understanding and especially in their attitude. Jesus constantly had to be teaching them, correcting them, and helping them to be the type of men he wanted them to be. We might be led to think that they could become frustrated and discouraged and want to leave their calling of following Jesus. In fact, many people did leave following Jesus when they found his words too difficult to accept. When this happened, Jesus asked his remaining disciples, those who were closest to him, if they wanted to leave also. They replied and said to him, To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. This was a very wise answer to give to the Lord Jesus. The reason any of us try to follow Jesus is because he has the answers to eternal life. He is the only way to enter into heaven. Yes, the road might be difficult, filled with challenges and disappointments, but it is the only option if we hope to reach heaven. To be a disciple means to learn about Jesus and follow in his footsteps. This will mean a life of self-denial, suffering for the sake of others, of doing good and demonstrating the love of God. It is certainly not a life of fame and fortune as many false preachers would have you believe. The disciples had some wrong ideas about what it meant to be a follower of Jesus and while they were jockeying for power and honor, Jesus has to teach them the path of humility and suffering. Even when they had a glimpse of his majestic glory, that did not prevent them from faltering in their faith. One thing we should point out here is that many people want to choose salvation through Christ, but they do not want him to be Lord of their life. This means that they want to go to heaven someday, but they would be happy also if Jesus just left them be and let them do as they please while living in this world. We must be very clear that when Jesus calls us to salvation, he is also calling us to follow him. This means he is asking us to surrender our lives to him as Lord. He must be in charge. If you want to be a Christian, this is not optional. To be a Christian is to acknowledge that Jesus is Lord, not just in a general sense, but in a very personal sense. Yes, he is Lord of all, but is he Lord of you? Have you allowed Jesus to take control of your life? Are you daily seeking to learn from him and to faithfully follow him? As we learn from his word daily, we will constantly find areas in our lives that are needing correction. But do not be discouraged by these things. Sin has done lots of damage to our lives and will continue to do so as long as we live in this world. But we can, by the help of our Lord, learn his ways and walk in them. Yes, being a follower of Jesus is difficult, but can you imagine anything more rewarding than being assured of a place in heaven and to receive from Jesus those wonderful words of approval. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. This is what every Christian can look forward to if they have chosen the path of discipleship. Do not fool yourself into thinking you are a Christian when Jesus is not actually Lord of your life. You have to decide for yourself which side you are on. If you want to be with Jesus, then you must let him be the captain of the team, your captain, and take your orders from him. Why not make today the day when you ask him to take over as Lord of your life? 
And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not do the things which I say? Luke chapter 6, verse 46.